So we published this uh, a study um, a year ago, over a year ago, in which we wanted to look at all the genes that are active in human embryonic stem cells. And to our surprise, we found using uh, a novel technology of uh, RNA sequencing, we found uh, 2,000 novel transcripts. Uh, we characterized the most abundant ones, so the top uh, 23, uh, and uh, uh, to our even bigger surprise, we found that actually all 23 are derived from uh, uh, retroviral elements. Uh, so in other words, uh, these are remnants, DNA elements, which are remnants of uh, ancient uh, events of infections. Here we did um, really just focus on those 23 genes that we knew were uh, novel and were active in the human embryonic stem cell um, line and we really wanted to dissect their functions and really on a molecular and on a bio, uh, biological level trying to figure out if they have individual functions um, or if they don't have any functions at, at all. So for a long time these elements have been treated as a uh, uh, junk DNA, so accessory DNA, vestigial DNA that was absolutely not functional. Uh, we are now discovering, actually, we are now learning that actually these elements, most of them, if not all of them, are acti actively transcribed, so they seem to be uh, um, you know, active in different, you know, steps, different stages of development. Uh, and uh, so now what is really interesting and exciting is try to understand and try to dissect, first of all, how the host genome managed to, you know, uh, recycle them in a way uh, at its own advantage. Because, you know, let's not forget that these are retroviral sequences, so they originally were retroviruses and their job was to infect and potentially kill the host. Uh, the host was not killed, but actually it managed somehow to uh, use those sequences at its own benefit. There's thousands of copies of these, of these elements, you know, spread into our genome. It is calculated that actually more than 50% of our genome is actually made of retroviral DNA. So there is a massive amount of this DNA, which is exciting, but at the same time, you know, makes things extremely complicated.